Hello and welcome back to True Fight Gaming Channel. That's me. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now you're wondering where we are. We're on the mission after we've been chased by the motorcycle with Jessie, and she gives us the different material. Uh, this is during the light your way uh, mission uh, just before the second reactor and what I want to go over is a few tips and tricks and I want to show you exactly where to find that all important chocomog material which will help you uh, for the next course of the game and I also want to go over some tips and tricks but just before that if you're new to the channel hit that red subscribe button smash the like on this video guys because I'm gonna bring more videos out just like this and if you haven't already turn that all important notification bell on so you can see every video as it drops so without further ado let's get straight into this one guys right so in between the second and third light there's going to be an area just down towards the bottom left hand corner of the map now what you got to do is you got to fight through a few different enemies until you get to this kind of area and you're on to the second light switch and once you get to that area you'll know exactly where I'm talking about so let's go onwards and we will go to the exact area that I'm going on about. There's a ladder just in front of it so you should be able to see it on the map. Now when you're there, there should be a lift that takes you over to the left hand side. And once you find that, you should be able to go over to it. So let's go towards it. Just a little this way and then you can find it. Just like me. You can't go over this way. You can see this way is blocked. So you need to go this way instead. And this is where the light is. The second light. And as you can see once you've turned that one off and that makes two lights down meaning we've only got one left the end in sight y'all should be able to climb down from here uh, this a hole right is that the sector four slums down there Huh? You want to check them out sometime? I can show you around. We'll check them out now if we fall. So once you turn the light off, you get the power back. So that means you can then use the lift. And it should be able to take you exactly where you need to go. So you come all the way back to this bit and then you want to go downwards there's going to be a few enemies in this area so you, what, what you want to do is take them out first like I did So once you defeat those enemies, you want to just keep going on until you get to this lift. Now it's down the bottom and it's on the left bottom hand side and as you can see it will take you over. But you can only do this after you've hit the second light off. Because when you turn the lights off, that gives you power to somewhere else and eventually you get to the lift and as you can see there's a ladder and this is the area we want to concentrate on. We want to go up the ladder and at this point it's really convenient if you're too low level and you're having trouble in this area then 
go ahead and go around the area a little bit and you have a vending machine here and a seat you can just do it in this particular area just keep fighting the enemies in this little bit with first button we'll open the door and a timer will come on and what will happen is you'll have to defeat some enemies the fans will turn off and the second door will only open if you can get to the other side but to do that you have to defeat the enemies now here's a rough first battle I'm gonna keep it short I don't defeat it straight away what you want to do is sort out your material first and then you should be able to do it Now this is one of the enemies that you have to defeat, but I didn't manage to do it, and as you can see my time ran out, and this is what will happen. What you have to do is defeat it in enough time so that you can get to the button and hit it and the door will open so that then you can get the materia. Here I'm going to show you a few different types of materia that you can use to defeat the boss. So let's go over it then guys. You've got the vendor machine and you've got a seat that will heal you so you can sit down and there's loads of enemies that you can defeat along the way so you can do all that and you can prepare yourself to fight these enemies so you should be on the way so now I'm going to just show you some material so let's go over that guys here you go you can see that this is the basis of the materials and you have the ifrit summoning so you can use that as well uh, you want to check over your weapons your material slots your accessories and your armor piece there guys you want to make sure you have the most slots that you can so that you can function a little bit better and you want to check your defense and your magic defense and your attack these are the three main things at the beginning and then you want to make sure you have lightning, fire and ice so you should be get good to go against these enemies and once you've done that you get a second enemy here that is a little bit easier so this might help you defeat them a little bit easier because this, this one was a lot easier than the first one but they do poison you so beware make sure you've got the healing material on so that you can heal yourself I used a lot of uh, braver strikes on cloud there but I managed to die just before the end so I used Barret to defeat some of the enemies he's got the overcharge ability and I also managed to revive cloud in the end but as you can see that nothing will go well so you have to make sure that you've accounted for everything so once you've defeated that last enemy run onto the panel press it as fast as possible and the door will open for you and there you go folks you can go in and collect your materia here we go it's right at the end you can see it there there you go pick it up and you get the chocomog materia Lastly, I want to show you a few different things that you can do in this area. Now, this is before the second reactor, so I wanted to go over the fact that you only have certain areas where you can heal and spawn uh, enemies in this game. Uh, it's not much of a grind, you don't really need to grind if you don't want to, but if you're into that sort of thing and you want to level up a little bit and get a bit of cash, which um, I do employ you, there's not very many 
areas you can make money so this is a good opportunity so that you can level up your materia as well just before the next battle because it's going to be quite tough and the reasons why I'll go over in my next video but first I want to say thank you for watching this video if you watched it till this end make sure you give a thumbs up and leave a comment down below because I want to know if you enjoying these videos and uh, if you've liked them make sure you turn that notification bell on so you can see every video as I drop and if you're just tuning in and you just skipped to the good bit and you want to know where the material is that's fine hopefully you have enjoy enjoyed it and you've got what you needed to if you're new to the channel hit that red subscribe button you don't know what you're missing out on because I go over these videos every single day now in quarantine so I've got plenty of time to help you guys out right so moving on guys so as you've got two lights open and once you've done the third one you pretty much got quite a few different areas where enemies will spawn and once you've got this kind of thing going you can spend quite a while going up and down the different areas and back and forth and these couple of enemies will spawn and they're actually really easy like these enemies are weak to ice and since we have a lot of ice magic we can use it and level that up and it will just get easier and easier to defeat them I want to show you a couple of tips when you're guarding and you're in the operations mode cloud will counter and you should be able to do a few different strikes with this counter and because you're in that mode you're actually faster and you do a lot more strikes Secondly, Tifa and Barrett, I want to go over a few different things with them, but uh, I'll do that at a later date. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.